Christmas everybody! What's that you say? It's April and I should sort my life out. Yeah I know, but I'm reviewing my Christmas gift from my wife. The Kavitan Leg Guards. They look ace, don't they? I mean seriously, these look cool. It's mainly the reason I got them. Alright, the slippers don't really help with the aesthetic, but um... Alright, truth be told, so... I'm not allowed to wear shoes in the house. Uh, this whole fiasco. About a year ago, I walked in. I was wearing trainers. Trod a load of dog turd into the carpet. I mean, I, like, I really ground it in. Um, so, yeah. Now, the wife won't let me wear trainers in the house. Or any kind of shoe. It's slippers or it's nothing. And I'm not, you know, I'm not about to walk around with bare feet like some sort of scabby barbarian but sometimes when she's not home as a treat I wear my shoes in the house anyway seriously though how cool do these look they look like Robocop legs okay so how common is it to get hit in the leg over say getting stabbed in the neck meat depends on the context and the weapon that's being used. With something like a longsword or a sabre, it can be a little bit risky to go for the legs as the lower your target, the more exposed your head. But if you have a companion weapon, a buckler or a shield, then you can cover your head while you're striking low. Now in addition to doing HEMA, I also do reenactment, and I've been hitting the leg a lot of times in a shield wall, and it sucks. Let's put the Kavitan leg guard up to the test and see if it can take a hit. So normally, it, at this point, I would like splice videos of, uh, of, of you know, a student maybe, um, and I'd be fighting them, and you know, I'd, I'd put bits where they're hitting me in the leg, uh, just to demonstrate the leg guards taking a hit. You know, can't do that. I'm locked in. Some fella in China saw a bat flapping about in the night and thought, "Hey, I want to capture that and put it in my mouth." So, you know, now I'm locked in, can't go to the school. So, here's this instead. You really don't care, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Sorry, I missed. The answer is yes, they can take a hit. As they make these leg guards to your specifications, they come in all shapes and sizes. Right, well, I, you know, I say all shapes and sizes, but in terms of shape, you are kind of limited to leg shape. Now I've got long dancer's legs, so mine are custom made, uh, which is nice because before this I was wearing the Red Dragon um, shin guards, which are a good deal shorter than this, and between each exchange I'd have to like hike them back up again. They're very comfortable, they're lined with memory foam on the inside here. Some leg guards that I've seen, like the Red Dragons for example, tend to protrude a little bit from the leg, they're quite bulky, which means that some tippy or errant strikes get caught uh, and you know you can lose points in a tournament because of it. Um, I, I imagine that that's for extra protection to make them more robust, but because this is closer to the shin, it means that it won't be catching those blades as they're going past. The shape and design also encompasses the ankle. The leaf was an addition, custom, that uh, I got to protect the side of the knee. Um, it's pretty cool actually, it, it's what makes this leg guard kind of uniquely HEMA. As far as I'm aware, this design is based on medieval armor, which means that it is designed specifically for historical European martial arts, rather than something that's being co-opted from something like motocross. So that's pretty sweet. They're also really lightweight considering how durable they are, which is great because you want something comfortable, you don't want something that's going to be very cumbersome when you're moving around and fencing. Now, I quite like the light guards from Superior Fencing, but my one problem with them is that 
there's a gap between the kneecap and the shin pad itself. Um, and that gap means that, you know, it's a small chance, but uh, the point of the sword could potentially uh, slip through and um, hit the knee or the shin. I don't want that. This, however, ties the knee and the shin pad together, which tightens the gap between the knee pad and the shin guard. Because of the convex shape of the shin guard and this ridge running along the front of the shin here, any thrust that comes in would glance off. We do a back panel that covers the calf as well, but I sweat a lot when I'm fencing. I didn't want to sort of be squelching around in a soupy, sweaty leg guard. Now, my problems with this, what are they? Are they numerous? Do I have any? Yes, I do. What was my first question? The downside to the elastic is that it started to break almost immediately. Um, they do provide you with some replacements, but as you can see here, maybe, it's starting to get a little bit frayed uh, and that will snap. I'll have to replace it. I haven't had them that long. Um, I'm thinking about taking a file and kind of rounding out uh, the, the eyelets here. Eyelet? Hole. I'm going to round out the hole. Just so that the edges of the hole aren't wearing away at the elastic. There's also a strap on the back here, which is kind of superfluous. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, really, because the terminal is there behind the leaf, and it's, it's really hard to kind of do that behind your leg in the heat of the moment. So I just tend to kind of leave it flapping. I don't know if it does serve a purpose. I haven't really been using it much and I haven't felt um, like there's been much of a difference in, in the way that it moves. In terms of price, they are a little bit more expensive than your Red Dragon shin guards. However, these are custom and I suspect they will last a little bit longer. If they don't, I will cry. Overall, these things are cool, and they can take a punch. Not that anybody's punching me in the leg, but you know. I'm gonna give them a rating of four and a half legs out of five. If you're very new to Hema and you haven't heard of it already, you're looking for people who are like-minded and who are nice and wholesome and welcoming, I cannot recommend Hema in pajamas enough. Go to Facebook, uh, I'm sure you'll find it there. Somebody will add you. I'll add you. I'll add you. I might not add you. I'm not very good at Facebook. But, you know, like, maybe give it a try. Either way, someone will add you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit like or subscribe. Make my quarantine wish come true. Be a quarantine miracle. Father Quarantine coming along and give me a gift out of his big old sack.